there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing here on the Direwolf 20 mod pack. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. We are excited to be back over here. And what are we doing today? Well, we're going to work on the Empowerer from Actually Editions. And then we're going to see about heading over to the end. And I will tell you that. I'll tell you why as we turn around here. So let's come back here, bring up the HUD, put on our armor, and we've got some stuff right here. So the the, the reason why we need um, we need to go to the end, well, right here. Take a look at this. I've got all of these drives filled up, and I don't think I fully explained myself last time as to why we go for the 16K. Uh, the problem with AE2 versus refined storage you you have to uh, it's not a problem necessarily it's just it's another game within the game we've got forestry bees that's a game within the game and an ae2 has its own game within the game you've got to balance channels and you have to set up your network correctly and then if it split it apart and have sub networks and and then also you have to play with these drives as well it's not just you put you put some storage on here 16k storage and then you have 16k of stuff well if you fill up everything or if you fill up all 63 types and say maybe it's 63 pieces of armor right that can happen you could have 63 distinct pieces of armor or tools or something and you take up an entire 16k drive with that so um that that's why i go for 16k versus 64k you might say well more is better well it, it is maybe for bulk storage, but I think bulk storage, we do a lot better with, with our storage drawer network here than with dumping everything into drives. And all right, you too. Uh, so WC Hamilton is signing off for the evening. And so, so that's why I go with those. It's a good balance between uh, not too much of a hassle to craft and then, um, you know, not, not wasting too much space either. So we've got a bunch of stuff in there that just doesn't quite make sense in the bulk storage. And then over here on the bulk storage, that's where we get the storage bus. That lets us talk to an external inventory as if it were part of the network. Or, and, and it is, it's part of the network. Uh, another thing of note, I have disabled the power right here. These things run all the time. Did you know that? I knew that from back in 1.7. I had forgotten it. This thing runs all the time and it drained my power. And so we can't have, we can't have the crystal growth accelerators on all the time. We have to come up with something else and we'll worry about that, uh, like a more automated solution in the future. But for now it's sufficient just to, uh, take out the, the cable that's in place there. So, so yeah, anyway, uh, other thing of note, let's come over here and grab our items look at that we've got so much stuff here oh this is great how about over here bunch of honeycombs well let's run these lapis combs in here right quick that'll get going and then here it's going to be producing honeycombs for days for days yes this is great we'll just let let our centrifuge run and we'll make that run overnight and we'll you know make a better better centrifuging solution in the future but for now the reason why i want to go to the end is because we need to create a new bee and that bee has to do with our certus uh, our certus needs so you notice that back on our drive or the yeah the drive that has all the storage cells in it yeah we've only got nine storage cells in there we ran out of stuff we ran out of materials for for other storage cells. Let's just take all this. And I've got this ender pouch. I should be able to throw everything in there. Like so. And yep, we've gotten to the end of it. A few other points of note over here. I got the Auric Queen going. And then Nickel Queen and Argentum, that produces silver. So we've got nickel and silver coming in, which uh, is a little bit helpful. 
I didn't put any production upgrades on those because we don't really need that, but bronze we certainly need, although I did reduce it some. So we don't have tons of production upgrades going in there, but uh, a decent amount. We'll come up with a... Again, we've got a lot of stuff to do in the future, but for now, um, yeah, let's take a look at the bee that we're going to need. And let's do it right here. So... I ran out of Certus Quartz, and we can't actually get Certus Quartz from a bee. You notice right here, no centrifuge option. And then if we take a look at Pulverizer, Certus Quartz Ore, yeah, no centrifuge option here either. We can get it from the ore miner or just mining, but yeah, not an option. However, we can take a look at Certus Quartz Dust you come over here to this one, you see that there is a centrifuge option. And that comes from the Certus Comb. And the Certus Comb, you get a 15% chance of getting one of those from a Quantum Bee. You can also get the Shimmering Comb. What does that do? Shimmering Comb gives us Interpearl Dust for Portal Gun Mod. We're going to be messing with that so much. But right here, the Certus Comb also gives us Nether Quartz. Can we get it from other... Yeah, we can get it from the Mellow Comb. Where does that come from? Monastic Bee? Secluded Bee? Huh. That might be better. Better option there. But it'll be nice to have the Quantum Bee going. So maybe we'll get both a Secluded and Monastic. But let's go back to the Quantum Bee. We've got to get Spectral, which requires Hermitic and Ender. Ender comes from the End. So we need to go to the End. That's why we're going to go there and we're going to pick up some of these ender hives. Okay, let's go back. Hermitic, we need monastic and secluded. Monastic and austere gives us secluded. I've already got austere, but monastic we need to get from a villager. So you can't get those from hives, but thankfully, not over here. It's going to be a little bit before I break that habit. Let's, let's get a lasso. So one of these, yeah, so we'll get that. Llama, villager, villager, villager. Okay. Yeah, so one of these villagers is the apiarist. That's the arborist, okay. Regular farmer, okay. And this guy, apiarist, okay. And then we'll just get, get these guys back because they make way too much noise. And there we go. So we should be able to go and take a look at him and see if we can get one of those there monastic bees. But I think we have to do some other trading. Yeah, that's going to take a little bit to get to that. But we've got plenty of that stuff. Let's see if we can... Uh, where's the potatoes? Let's see if we can open up a monastic bee from this guy. Like that. Okay. And here I am, off in the weeds already. I said we were going to do an empowerer, but but no, we're not doing that yet. Propolis and four forest drones, or jungle wood and an emerald. But we don't have jungle wood right now. We can get an emerald and make a get a bee smoker. Anyway, so you've seen villager trading before. I'm going to take care of getting him going off camera and see if we can get that monastic bee later. But what we need to do right now is make, let's get that empower going and we'll do actually, okay. And then empower, yeah, there we go. So we need this and then we need four additional display stands. So the empower plus the display stands. I think we can do the iron casing. Do we have any of that? We've got some redstonia crystal but we need the double battery as well. We don't have any of that. So we're going to need to get, uh, we should be able to do this one. How many of those do we need? Uh, let's not worry about the display stands yet. Let's get the double battery going. We need a single battery, an advanced coil, black quartz. Okay, we're gonna need a decent amount of, of that. So we need some redstone. Let's grab 
maybe half a stack of that. And then we'll need some iron as well. And we won't do that much iron. So half of a half of a stack. Let's come over here and throw this down like so. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Throw that and that. And that's going to take a lot of power to, to change that. Did it do all of it? It did all of it. Oh my, that's cool. Okay, so we've got that. Let's just turn all that into its constituent parts there. And there we go. How about Inori? There's there's no more. So Redstonia, we don't have any more. Okay, so we should be able to go in here and grab... I don't know how many of these. We'll just do that for now. And then, can we make that? No, we can't do that yet. Single battery. Oh my. Oh, I see. We need a few of those. And then we need that. So we get the single battery and we should be able to make the double battery. Excellent. And then that means we can go into the display stand. We need four, five of those. Yep. Um, so that's going to take a little bit of effort here. We need to get aesthetic quartz and aesthetic green block. The aesthetic green block requires chiseled quartz blocks and aesthetic quartz requires just so a block of quartz. So we're going to need five. We've got to make five of those display stands. So let's take a look here. Five times three. So we need 15. Let's do it like that. Okay. And then we need, um, let's do this. That's okay. That should be good. And we'll do 15 of these. Yeah. Get rid of all that. And then we can throw this stuff down in front of the, uh, what are this atomic reconstructor? Did that do it? Yes, it did. Excellent. So we should be able to come in here real, real quick, throw that in and see if we can get our display stands. We need five of them. Okay. So I need what, two more of those advanced coils. One, two. Okay. And this is going to be the name of the game for the time being. Now that we've got an EME system going. And we should be able to make one of these. No, the battery. Where's that battery? Do that. Okay. And now let's go get our display stands. And then we need to find a place around here somewhere. Oh, and you know what? It might be helpful. Uh, do we have prismarine? Yes, we've got some prismarine. Let's make a storage uh, energy power cell. That's what it is, power cell. So let's do that. We need one more of these and that's gonna require a machine frame. So we can do that. Power cell, okay. And then a power cell card, good. Close that and then we'll take a look in here, link it, good. All right, and then where should we go for our empower? We don't actually need it on all the time. So, so we don't have to be in loaded chunks, but you know what? How about, how about down here in our power generation area? How about that? Maybe, um, over here, we'll do it right, right here. Okay. So we'll do that one, two. Uh, da, da. like that. Yeah, we need one, one more right there. Yeah, and then, and right here. Okay, and that guy is quite annoying, but we'll do this out, and then we can set our display stand on top, and then we'll do, um, nope. 
first, let's link this thing. Okay. And then we should be able to get power out of here. And there we go. And we can put display stand there. It's going to drain some power. What? 80,000 RF. Well, CF crystal flux. Okay. So we've got that going. And then uh, what we need to do now is how about we sleep and then we'll empower something. So let's go over here and see what we need to empower. What I'm going to do is maybe empower some diamond teen. Let's, let's take a look at what's required for that. And our, hmm, we need to, maybe I should protect the villager. Um, if we get a lightning storm around here, then that villager could get struck by lightning and that would turn him to a witch, which would then cause him to be in the mob cap. And then if I'm, well, anyway, they can despawn. So we'll keep this villager on us for right now. And then let's take a look at empowered diamantine crystal. Palace crystal block, diamantine crystal block. What does that require? So you put diamantine, diamantine. Okay. Well, then what, what can we do with this thing? Clay, clay, two clay, and a block of clay and light blue dye. Okay. And then a diamantine crystal atomic reconstructor. So we need a block of diamond. So let's just see how this goes. Um, block of diamond right? We need one of those. I'm loath to use those so much, but we do have, we do have diamonds coming in. So clay, we need a couple of pieces of that plus one of those. And then light blue. Do we have light blue? Yes, we do. Excellent. Hey, we're, we're doing better than we figured. Okay. And so we'll take this diamond block, throw that out there. I should probably put that button on the other side so it makes it a lot easier. All right, so this is now a diamantine crystal block and we can come over here like so and then load up all our items on our hot bar. Okay, like that, 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 and that. And then we take our diamantine crystal and there we go. So that's the process right there. It's empowering it. I don't know any way other than just waiting to figure out when this thing is done. And I don't know if we can speed the process up. It takes, it takes a decent amount of time. I've done some void crystal block. So empowered void crystal block over on the FTB revelation server. Oh, by the way, feel free to go check that series out. It's uh, we're doing it less of a tutorial style and more just play. And so progress updates between each one. We're going to need this Empowered Diamantine Crystal for a future, future project, but not right now. I just wanted to show you how that works. And then the Frozen Comb, um, we can throw that into here. And uh, let's see, one more thing, upcoming project, we're going to need better production out of our ferrous bee so i'm gonna throw a couple of production upgrades in there and and yeah how's our power doing okay it seems to be recovering from the empowering but overall not too shabby we've got what 19 million now because we got 19 of those things all right, so the next order of business is to clean up our items. Um, let's do that here. We'll, we'll bring that guy back eventually, but let me put the B stuff right here and I'll show you. We've got this area cleaned up right here. I've thrown everything into the ME system and, and yeah, so we're getting things under control a little bit, but not, I, I wouldn't say we're, we're you know, doing the greatest right now, but you know, it's a little bit better than, than it could be. So 
Let's come over here. Eye of Ender. So let's see if we can find a stronghold. We need... I don't know. We may find an existing stronghold. and Or we may find um, a, a new one. And for this particular... This particular trip, we're going to make sure we've got our our B stuff. Actually, you know what? Let me go off camera for a bit and make sure I've got everything I think I need and that I'm not forgetting anything. So uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Java Dad just joined on the server and he's well, I'm not sure what he's going to be doing. Anyway, we've got everything we need. We've got some Eyes of Ender. We've got our backpack just in case. And I've got a lapis comb because who doesn't need a lapis comb when you're going on an adventure to a stronghold? Yep. Uh, I, I didn't need one either. So you are not alone. All right. So the next thing we've got our bee smoker and scooperator. Very well indeed. Um, so big thanks to Java Dad for the planes emulation upgrade. Um, upgrade there but uh yeah what we need to do now is do this which way did that go okay oh and that went bye bye so we'll go this way for a little bit and and see where it takes us well we are getting close to what i think is oh no no we're we're coming up on dadcraft's base but we got to be careful around that we don't want to go and infringe on that but let's go this way okay keeps going this way okay we got that one so yeah we just got to keep going this direction and i don't know how long this is going to take so maybe we will actually cross by some of his stuff no somebody's doing something over here oh major major what in the world Oh, some quarrying of some form. Anyway, we come over here. This is Dadcraft's base. So if you're not watching Dadcraft, why not? Go check him out and you can see all of the fun stuff he gets up to over here. But we are just passing by because we need to find this stronghold. And it's probably about time for... Yep, another... Did I get that? fell on the ground yep so we keep going this direction and rinse and repeat for a while we may end up at the same same spot as as dadcraft ended up at let's see and maybe nope that's interesting. Yeah, let's just keep going up this way. We are out in the middle of night. And I'm all turned around. How about this way? Okay, so it's over here somewhere. Got it. Okay. So let's keep going this way. And we'll see if Javadad sleeps the night away. Who knows? He might. He might not. And... Yeah, I'm seeing plenty of beehives around here, but we don't need to pick those up. We've got plenty of our own hives around. And we're in extreme hills right here. Let's take a look. Okay, it's back behind us. That one went bye-bye. So it's back over here somewhere. And, ooh, a witch hut. That's cool. And is there a witch in there? Yep. And she's always going to be there. Let's just take a look here. We can't, we have to, I want to get the coordinates. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're not building a witch hut. We can do much better here in modded, but let's come over this way a little bit. I think we're kind of triangulating in on this thing. Which way? Over here? Oh, and I 
lost it. Where where did it go? I saw it. I thought I saw it. Hmm. How about how about this? Watch. Cheaty McCheaterson here. No, I didn't want to set Q on the things. We got hitboxes on. Did you know that's the thing? F3 and B? Hmm. I don't know where that thing went to. Yep, lost it. So we'll turn the hitboxes off. F3, B again. And B happens to be the thing that gives you a new uh, a new waypoint in journey map. Okay, so we're over here. All right, so that one died also. It's got to be around here somewhere. And I'm not sure. Aha, there we go. So this is somebody else's tunnel. But I think we should be able to get to it. Yep, fairly easily. Yeah, there we go. So it's already filled in. Excellent. And that means that we don't really have to do much. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Hmm. Anyway, what we can do is just pop in here. And wait. Okay. Oh my goodness. This sounds so loud. Okay. So what we are looking for here is a few things. First, I need to get some... Ooh, I'll take that. Draconium? Ender Draconium ore? Can we... No, I can't get that. How about this guy? Excellent. And I get some in stone while I'm at it. And that means my ender lily is uh, will, will be a lot better. So let's do that. We'll get some more ender lilies. Yes. Very good. Very good. All right. And then over here. Good, good, good. All right, so now what I need to do is find some of those hives. And that's going to require just looking around here. I guess this is all just draconium ore, which we don't quite need yet. We will need it a little bit more. And then there's also, okay, so I need the ender hive. And then reportedly there's another type of of hive around here that grows on obsidian pillars under the end but i i'm not sure about that so we've got our work cut out for us i need to go through one of these pillars i guess and and we'll go to an end city so uh let's see we don't need those anymore and I guess we can just go through here. Uh, yes, okay. So we're here on one of these end islands way, way out. Let's see if we can knock this down. Is it going to let us? Yes. So we've got one chorus flower and I see an ender hive already. We should be able to do that. And we'll get some coarse fruit while we're at it. Excellent. And we'll do that. And plenty of stuff here. All right, so what I need to do is get the smoker and the scooperator out, ready to go. Maybe eat some. And, and yeah. Well, it's just going to be uh, this for a little bit. And I'll show you what these guys do. We've got our apiarist backpack we've got an ender princess pristine stock excellent that's good and then uh, i'm just going to be collecting more of these things and then let's see how about oh here we go this is what i was talking about these pillars underneath here there supposedly are hives on these or around these 
Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I... There, there is. Aha! That's one I want, right there. That's a good one. Oblivion Hive. Good, good, good. Excellent. How about this? We've got Oblivion Drone, Oblivion Princess Pristine Stock. Excellent. So that's going to be the name of the game. I need to find more of those hives. And we're going to get Ender Hives and Oblivion Hives. I'm just going to collect for a little bit. If I come up to... Oh, let's go over here. This has probably been raided, but who knows? Who knows? It has not been raided yet. This is good. Let's see. Can we get him? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so I can turn into one of those shulkers uh, now as a result of that, that morph thing. I've never quite figured that out. Let's go in here and we'll see if we can get ourselves a, an elytra. There we go. Okay, so we've taken care of those guys. And let's get that. Uh, here. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Diamond helmet. Mm, I'll take it all. I'll, I'll just take all of it. We've got backpack space. So let's do that. Uh, not that one. Other backpack. Like so. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, that's, that's going to be the name of the game. We're just going to collect stuff and... Ooh, Steadfast Drone. That's good. I'll take that. Uh, Steadfast Drone. Actually, you can go into the Apiar's backpack. Right? There we go. Anyway, that's uh, that's going to be the name of the game. We've got collecting to do. And uh, so I will get collecting. And we'll see you in a little bit. Well, one thing I forgot to do when we were coming through this thing. is I forgot to set a waypoint. But... Thankfully, oh, well, it ended all right. Let's go here. Okay, we're back here on the main island. And I think what I'm going to do is set a waypoint here. Okay, and we'll say exit. Okay, and then let's go through here. And yes, we've beaten the game. Woohoo! Okay, and we're back at our house here. And we've got, we got some new bees which is good, not newbies. We've got some newbies to uh, play with, and I'm not so excited about playing with these guys, and I'll show you why. Let's let's put them in here, okay? So we emptied out the APR's backpack and mining backpack. Okay, so we're not, not, not doing so badly there. Let's get the portable analyzer. Let's get the Ender Princess and an Ender Drone. And we'll analyze those. And then Oblivion Princess and Oblivion Drone. And then take a look. Ready? Ender Princess. Okay. Effects. End. Okay. Territory large. That's great. That's that's awesome. So we, we want to make sure we get that trait off of there. And uh, we'll have to plant Chorus Fruit for them. Longer lifespan. I think we've already got that on our production template. Let's take a look over here. Uh, lifespan longer. Yeah. Okay. So right now for the lifespan, we're looking for longest and production speed of fastest or blazing, but territory large. That's good. That's good. Over here, cold up one. Okay. So not too shabby there. That's the Ender Princess. Same thing here. Okay. Those are equivalent. Oblivion Princess. Oblivion has an aggressive trait on there. 4x on the fertility. Awesome. And the Oblivion species over here. Cold up 2. Okay. So all in all, 
not too shabby, but we are going to need to use the Ender for getting that Spectral B. Let's take a look again. Certus Quartz. This comes from Certus Comb, which we get from the Quantum Princess. And so we're going to have to get the Hermetic Princess and the Ender Drone. So we've got part of that already. And so we've still got a little bit, a little ways ahead of us to, to work on with that. But I'm going to do that off camera. You've seen how I do that. And, and yeah, so um, let's, let's go back over here, maybe to our... Our empower setup. So let me take a sneaky screenshot while we're at it too. There we go. Not so sneaky. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed a little exploration. And uh, we'll see what we do with those bees. And also with our little trip to the end and this empower next time. You'll see. You'll see. Pretty excited about it. But hey. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did a like, it's always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel. If you want to get in touch with me, just say there's a public Discord server down. A link to it in the description box below. Feel free to hit that. And uh, if you've got suggestions for things I should be working on, feel free to let me know down there. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.